How's it guys? In today's video, we are looking at this. It's the Bosch Professional GSB18V-50 drill. Now, this is a battery powered brushless drill. We are gonna look at what do we get in the box and uh, talk through some of the specs and features. We are also gonna do some test drills. So we're gonna drill into wood, steel, and concrete. We're also gonna screw in some lag bolts and I'm gonna let you know what I do and don't like about the machine. Also, uh, full disclosure here, yeah, this video is not sponsored. A friend of mine bought this and was kind enough to give it to me to unbox, to try out before he gets to use it. So, thank you very much for that. Welcome back to the Burton Builds Garage. Let's get started. So as I mentioned in the intro, this is the Bosch Professional GSB 18V-50 drill. It has three modes. It's got a driving mode, a drilling mode, and then a hammer action mode. And it costs around uh, 3,000 to 3,600 Rand here in South Africa, or about 200 US dollars. Um, this is also very similar to the GSR 18V-50. Uh, that drill, however, has only got two modes. It's got a drilling and a driving mode, so there's no hammer action. So guys, just keep that in mind when you are looking to purchase one of these. They look very, very similar. I'll also leave links in the description to this drill and uh, some of the, uh, also the newer models, which may be slightly better. If you guys wanna go check out those links, uh, also read the reviews about them. I'm sure you'll find them very useful. So this drill has a 13 millimeter all metal chuck. That means it can hold drill bits from 1.5 all the way up to 13 millimeters. It is also a reversible drill like mostly any other drill on the market and it has a variable speed trigger which actually works fairly well. The gearbox has two speeds. In speed one you can get from 0 to 460 rpm. And in speed two, you can get from zero to 1,800 RPM. According to the specs, the drill can produce up to 50 newton meters of torque. And in driving mode, it's got a torque presetting ring with clutch settings all the way from 1 to 20. This means that when you set the clutch to 1, it applies the least amount of driving torque before clutching out. And when you set it to 20, it applies the most amount of driving torque before cutting out. Just keep in mind though, that if you do need more torque to drive in bigger or longer lag bolts, you can always put it into the drilling mode and then that will disable the clutch. Built into the base of the drill is a neat little work light. So as soon as you pull the trigger, the light comes on and it stays on for about 10 seconds after releasing the trigger. This kit that I've got uh, came with two of these 18 volt lithium ion battery packs. Uh, they are two amps each or deliver 36 watt hours of power. Although do keep in mind, these are not the pro core 18 volt batteries. So I would recommend if you can buy the kit with those batteries, rather get that because they are more powerful. I'll also see if I can find the link and leave it in the description to make your life a little bit easier. Uh, on the back of the battery, it has got a power indicator. It's a three light power indicator. And when you push it, then it tells you how much battery life you've got left. Overall, uh, the battery pack seems like it's fairly well built. It feels really solid and it looks like it's made out of good quality plastic. 
The last spec that I want to talk about is the built-in temperature dependent overload protection. Now, according to the manual, that means this tool cannot be overloaded. So what that means is that when the temperature goes out of its uh, required operating range, or should I say permitted operating range, the speed of the drill and of course the power of the drill is reduced until the temperature cools back down to within its operating range and then you'll get back the speed and power. So what do we get in the box? So the kit I received comes with a nice blow molded carry case. And the first thing we are greeted with as we open the case is, hmm, a little bit of a mess. That's slightly strange. Anyway, uh, you'll get a user manual and product information for the drill, charger and batteries. Next up is the battery charger, which also isn't in a packet for some reason, a belt clip which screws to the side of the drill, and of course one of the two included batteries. And last but not least is the drill. Now I do find this a bit strange that the package was shipped with the battery already inserted into the tool. I don't think this should be the case, so I've got a feeling this package has been opened before we received it. Although I did cut the seal open. Anyway, not to worry though, let's do some testing.
So I guess the first question is, does it have enough power? Well, for the little bit of testing that I have done and comparing it to my DeVault DCD796, that's a drill that I've used quite a lot, um, I can say that this is probably going to be good enough for some heavy duty DIY work, maybe some light duty commercial work. Um, I don't think you're going to be drilling big holes through concrete for that. I'm definitely going to recommend you go with an SDS drill. But if you want to use it around the house to drill some five, six, seven, or even eight millimeter holes in your brick walls, or you want to drill a couple of holes through some wood paneling, or maybe even some light duty steel fabrication in the, in the workshop, I think you'll be pretty happy with this, although, again, if you can, rather get the bigger, more powerful batteries. Overall, the build quality is as you would expect from a Bosch professional tool. It is made out of a fairly high quality plastic, or at least for now, that's what we can see. Um, it's got these rubber over moldings, which make it quite comfortable to hold. And I know this is very subjective, but um, it, the drill is very comfortable to hold. It's not very heavy, however, Again, comparing it to what I've got around the shop here, the DeVault DCD-796, I do find the DeVault quite a bit more comfortable to hold. But remember, it's very subjective. It depends on the shape and size of your hands. I also do like these rubber bumpers that are on the, both the left and the right hand side of the drills case. So when you put it down on maybe some brickwork or um, some, some concrete maybe, then it protects the whole side of the drills case from being scratched up. And well, in my books, that's always a good thing to be looking after your tools and keeping them looking good for as long as possible. Also something to keep in mind is that this model does not have any built-in kickback protection like some of the newer models do. Now what that means, and I think you guys uh, that have experienced this know where I'm coming from, but if you're used to using the more powerful battery operated drills, if you're not careful when these things hook up, it can twist your ankle right off. And yes, that's right, I did say your ankle. Um, however, this, this drill did hook up on me twice already and um, it doesn't really have enough power to turn your world upside down. So uh, if that is something that you are worried about, you might wanna just carefully check the specs and features of the model that you are buying to see if it does have that feature. And the last thing I wanna mention is the chuck. Now, this is not the most accurate chuck, even though it is a full metal construction. That's great for lasting very long, uh, but it's not a precision instrument. And I think all of us need to keep that in mind. These are basically just for lobbing holes through stuff. They are not accurate mills or drill presses or anything like that. And I've had a lot of people comment in the past about the various brands um, and, their drill and their drill chucks wobbling or having a bit of run out on these uh, on these cordless uh, mobile units yeah guys this is this is not a precision instrument so guys if you ended up uh, liking the video or finding it useful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing hit that little bell notification uh, so that you don't miss out on any future videos but wait just before you go you might also be interested in the video that's going to come up on my left hand side um, also leave us some comments in the comments section. Let us know what you think about the Bosch Professional Tools. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Grant Burton. This is the Burton Builds Garage and you guys will see me in the next video. Cheers.